Hi, this is Jane with Green Biz. Today we are going to be talking about hibiscus. Now, before I get started, I know you're going to ask, are we going to talk about the annual ones, the perennial ones, the Rose of Sharon hibiscus? The answer is yes, we're going to talk about all of them. And we're going to talk about just the little idiosyncrasies of each one. So, here we go. I have with me today examples of three different types of hibiscus. Now, you're probably wondering, annual versus perennial. If you live in southern Florida, then what we call annual hibiscus up here is actually a perennial down there. And I guess that's a perennial is, depending on where you live, it can be a perennial in one part of the country and not in another. It depends on the climate, it depends on the plant. So, when I refer to tropical or annual hibiscus, I'm referring to a particular kind of hibiscus. When I talk about perennial hibiscus, they are perennial here in North Carolina all the way up into, well, we could even grow them up in Minnesota, southern Minnesota. So, I just want you to kind of have that little piece of information. Hibiscus are absolutely gorgeous flowers. Perhaps you have driven by your neighbors and you've gone, ooh, I want that in my yard. The perennial hibiscus can get huge, big flowers. The tropical hibiscus bloom over and over and over throughout the summer. And then there's the third one that we call hibiscus, Rose of Sharon, and they can get really tall. They can get up to eight to 10 feet tall. You possibly have seen all of these in someone else's yard and you want them in yours. And I'll tell you what, Greenbiz can install these in your yard too. So let's talk a little bit about the hibiscus and help you decide which one you would like to have. I'm gonna start out by talking about the annual or tropical hibiscus. Now this is the hibiscus that if you lived way down in southern Florida would be considered perennial. The rest of us, it is an annual and it is sold in stores as annuals. They come with these beautiful flowers and they come in an array of different colors. You can get red, orange, yellow, white, pink, etc. Beautiful colors. Tropical hibiscus grow through the summer, but when it gets cold, like below 50 degrees, they're not going to be happy. Either you're going to have to bring them inside or you're just going to have to let nature take them and they will die away and they won't come back next year. You'd buy a new one. They are a beautiful asset to your yard. These flowers, they don't bloom for real long, but you get lots and lots of them throughout the summer. They love our summer sun. They can handle that real well. You can either plant them in the ground, you can put them in a pot, they look beautiful by a pool. They're just a really nice flower to have. The tropical hibiscus. I have next to me here examples of a perennial hibiscus. Now, I came down from Minnesota, these are perennial even up in Minnesota. So they have a wide range of where they will grow. A perennial hibiscus comes up in the spring, and I will tell you they're one of the later perennials to come up out of the ground. But once they get up out of the ground, boom, they grow. So they can get up to about three to four feet tall. They will have some width to them also. This is a type of perennial that you would plant to the back of your garden because it is a bigger plant. They come in the colors of white, pink, red. You're not gonna find yellow and blue in these type of hibiscus. It just doesn't exist. Depending on what variety you get, you may get a single petal or a double petal. Can you see the difference? The perennial hibiscus is a beautiful plant this is the one that you might be driving by your neighbors and you see these huge big flowers. As these plants mature, as they've been in the ground for a little while, their flowers will get like dinner plate size. They get huge and they are absolutely gorgeous. They will bloom for, oh, a couple months throughout the summer and they drop their, their flowers when they are done blooming. You don't have to go out there and deadhead them. So that's kind of nice to know. We're going to be talking now about a third type of hibiscus, also known down here as Rose of Sharon. The Rose of Sharon is actually a woody shrub, so it is not technically considered a perennial, but it does come back every year. Okay, it blooms every year. The Rose of Sharon 
Some of them can get quite tall. This is called a pillar. This one can get up to eight to 10 feet tall. The blue one that I have here is a little bit shorter variety, but it will still get to say four or five feet. If your favorite color is blue or purple and you just have to have a hibiscus that is in blue or purple, you're gonna to have to go with the Rose of Sharon because those other hibiscus, they don't come in blue and purple. But this particular one does. This is a chiffon blue. This one also comes in the double or the single flowers. They are a gorgeous addition to your garden. Now, if you do not want one that gets so tall, like an eight to 10 foot, because that might be a little big in your garden, then you probably are gonna want to take a variety, get a variety that does not get quite so tall. So, because your perennial and your Rose of Sharon hibiscus both come back the next year, let me just explain a little bit about taking care of them in the fall. The perennial hibiscus, you would just literally whack back to the ground. Boom, it's gone. You don't see it all winter long, and again, it will come up in the spring. With your Rose of Sharon, because it is a shrub, you can take it down about a quarter. You don't want to cut it all the way down to the ground. You take the plant down about a quarter of the size of it. That will help to keep it somewhat maintained in size. Eventually they will, if it's supposed to get tall, it will still get tall, but it will take a little bit longer for that to do that. You never want to take your shrubs all the way down to the ground as a general rule, because it's just not healthy for the shrub. If you have questions or comments, you can leave them in the comment section of this video. As always, if you want Green Biz to come and do some landscaping for you, we would be happy to do that. Just give us a call. This is Jane with Green Biz, wishing you a very happy summer.